Hi, my name is Dr. Jenny Wakeley. I'm a GP working in the NHS and I also specialise in dermatology. I run a company called The Beauty Doctor, specialising in cosmetic treatments and dermatological advice. So I'm here to talk to you today about how to get rid of plantar warts. Basically, plantar warts are warts that occur on the sole of the foot. Um, there are other warts that occur on the backs of the hands, on the backs of the toes, um, and um, there are mosaic warts, which are clusters of warts on the sole of the foot, um, various other types of warts as well. But they're all of the same wart family, there are about 70 different subtypes. So generally they take a year to appear um, from first contact. Uh, a lot of children have them, so they're mainly spread through direct contact or through a scratch in the skin. Uh, probably children 90% of warts get better after two years. In adults, it's slightly longer, especially if, if they've got um, immune problems. So how to get rid of them? Um, if they're not causing you any harm, they will go after a few years. They can be unsightly and sometimes they can be painful, especially on the sole of the foot, or they could spread as well. So if you're concerned, the simplest way of getting rid of them is getting some duct tape and you just press it flat along the wart and um, occluding them will basically flatten the wart out and help get rid of it. The other way to do it is by using a lotion with salicylic acid on it or, or a paint or something with something called podophyllin toxin. Podophyllin toxin, you probably need a prescription from your GP and you mustn't use it if you're pregnant. So using salicylic acid paint you just uh, paint on the, the wart and you cover it in duct tape. More effective is if you, before you put the paint on, you uh, soak the foot in warm soapy water and you use an emery board or a pumice stone and you gradually file away the, the hard skin overlying it. This means that the paint can uh, better absorb through the skin because one of the problems that one of the reasons why it's so hard to treat warts is that the skin overlying is very thick and the paint just can't get through to the virus and kill the virus and that's why warts don't get better with treatment. Sometimes the paint can make it sore in which case you just stop the treatment for a while until the soreness goes and then you can start the treatment again. 70% of the warts will go and they can, can take up to 12 weeks to go. Um, with using the duct tape, it's important to use it 24 hours of the day and just change it when you're having a bath or shower. There are also um, ways of getting rid of it by freezing. There's something called Wartner, which you can buy over the counter, which is sort of DIY freezing. It's not as cold as using liquid nitrogen, but it can work for some patients. Otherwise, most GPs can freeze the wart and you need to go back every one to three weeks to have it frozen again. It's based on the freeze-thaw cycle where by thawing kills the viruses and then you freeze it again and you thaw it again. And it may take several goes but eventually it will go. Um, another way of doing it is, is by um, curatage where you can you inject with local anaesthetic and you cut the wart um, and this will cause some bleeding so you, you basically burn the, the the blood supply off and um, that can get rid of the wart as well although it can be slightly painful. Sometimes if you do want to cut the wart you will find that it will bleed a lot and there's no problem with that you just have to control the bleeding. The reason is, is if you look at a wart closely there's a little small black dot in the centre and that's basically a, a very 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 tiny capillary supplying uh, the blood to the wart and it's just clotted at the end. Um, these methods, however, don't stop recurrence of the wart, especially if you cut it off. Um, there are other treatments such as laser, um, which require specialist treatment. So I hope this has been helpful and thank you for listening.